Hello, I'm Fruxios, developer of NEOS VR, and in this video I want to showcase you the possibilities of uh, the Vive Pro Eye tracking integration with uh, this software, and what you can do with it for research and engineering purposes. So I'm currently wearing the Vive Pro Eye headset, and I'm in this room with just a simple setup to showcase the possibilities. So if I actually look around the environment, you can see these dots, and essentially each one represents where each of my eyes is looking. So as you can see, I can look around. For example, I'm looking at the eye data, data panel now. Now I'm looking at the pizza. Now I'm looking at uh, these materials. Now I'm looking at a picture. Now I'm looking at the eye, eye data again. Now I'm looking at the floor. So you can see essentially they follow wherever I'm looking, but that's not everything. If you look over here, uh, there's a bunch of boxes, and if I actually look at the boxes, I can heat them up simply by looking at them. So this, for example, visualizes that you can you can um, see how long is somebody looking at a certain object, and you can track this data, you can even save it. But uh, this is a purely visual thing in this environment. So you can see, the longer I keep looking at it, the more it heats up. Also over here, uh, you can actually see let me just move the camera a little bit uh, further so you can get a better view. You can see this red ball, and anytime, anytime I look at it, it will fly, it will fly away. So I'm looking at the camera, and now I look at the ball. I look at it, I look at it, and it keeps, it keeps flying away. Yep. Let me give you also a bit more space so you can see even better. So I keep tracking it with my eyes, and it keeps flying away. There's another feature, uh, for example, you can see here's a mirror. Let me pull the camera a little bit closer, and it fades every time I stop looking at it. So that's another example of a, of a thing that's reacting to vision. And how about the positional Positional data, where the avatar is looking, is not the only information that comes from the Vive Pro Eye. Over here, you can actually see some other data coming from the headset, and this is actually the size of my pupils. So let me actually turn off the visualization, so it's not uh, clustering up the space. And over here, you can see two orbs. Each of these represents the size of my pupil. This one is for the left eye, this one is for the right eye. And here, you can also see the information plotted in time. So if I turn off the light, so it becomes very, very dark, you can actually see my pupils, they slowly start, make sure look into the darkness, they, they should start expanding. But then over here, I have an option, I can enable bright light, so watch, watch what happens. Yep. And you see how my pupils go down. Let me turn off the light again. Let's try it once more, so they climb up, they become bigger. Let's stabilize a little bit and turn it on again, and they go down again. So this is actually an interesting effect, and you could uh, this this kind of uh, panel is built right within the SVR with the tools we already have in here. I can actually show you another example because it also tracks uh, how how much is the eye open. So let's say I actually want to track that and apply that information to something like uh, like the size of the cube. Uh, I can actually use the built-in visual scripting to do that. So let me just grab the tools. So I will select the cube, open the inspector. I will also select this avatar, which has a component. I don't know, let me just select the head itself. I will select the head, which has the avatar raw eye data component already attached and set up. So this can actually be used to extract the eye information. And if I bring this a little bit closer, let me just position on the camera, you can see there's uh, there's left eye, right eye, there's also combined eye information, and each eye has uh, better tracking. So if I close my eye, it stops tracking. It has the origin, the position of the eye relative to the headset, direction, this is direction, the direction I'm looking at. There's the pupil diameter in meters, and there's the eye openness, which ranges from zero to one based on how open the eye is. And I can actually take this parameter and map it to anything. I can map it to a graph, I can like feed it into logics, I can do anything I wish with it. So I'm gonna use my right eye, so I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna take the cube. I can actually close these because I don't need them anymore. So over here I have, uh, I have the eye data, 
and if I shoot openness, you can see a number, if I close my right eye, zero, if I open it, it becomes one again. And you can essentially, since this is just a number, I can do anything using the visual scripting. I can map it to scale. After scale, it's a, it's a three-dimensional vector. So what I'm going to do is I need to somehow map it. And I would like to map it only to the vertical scale. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the pick XYZ. I'm going to plug the openness as the Y parameter. And for the rest of them, I'm going to keep them at uh, scale 1. However, for this cube, uh, let me actually drop this one. This cube has a scale of 0 0.004, so I need to multiply the resulting scale so it doesn't become too large. So I'm simply gonna multiply it by 0.004, and I can simply plug it into the scale. And now you can see if I if I close my eye, the cube actually become smaller. If I sort of half close my eye, it's only half closed. So essentially now the cube, the scale of the cube is mapped to my blinking. So there's one last thing. Uh, I also have this version of the avatar, which actually has uh, uh, this kind of visualization. Let me just move this over here. It actually visualizes uh, as little arrows where I'm looking at. So for example, here I'm looking at the tip of my finger. I'm looking at the skeleton, I'm looking at the hand of the skeleton, I'm looking at the camera. So, I hope you like this uh, this example of what you can do with the eye tracking in the NEOS VR. Of course, the options, this is mostly showcasing the raw data. Uh, you can build a lot more complex applications since uh, you can use the visual scripting. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll see you with the next update. Bye-bye.